Imagine having a terrible and rare disease, such as Tourette syndrome or cystic fibrosis. Scientists and doctors have worked diligently to create a promising drug to help you. But then, no drug company is willing to pay for the development of that drug. There simply aren't enough patients for a company to financially justify adopting the cause. Just like that, this potentially life-altering treatment becomes an orphan drug that nobody will produce. Congress took notice of orphan drugs and the plight of rare disease patients after the popular TV drama Quincy M.E. brought national attention to the problem in 1981. The truth is that the only real chance of research money going to these diseases is if you, the Congress, make the orphan drug bill a reality. If you don't act, please think of all the people you'll be writing off. By 1983, Congress passed the Orphan Drug Act. The act was loaded with incentives to encourage companies to develop drugs for rare diseases. Companies apply for orphan approval with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The FDA designates a drug as a potential orphan, basically saying it could serve a rare disease population. How rare? The targeted disease must affect fewer than 200,000 people in the United States. Once designated as orphans, the incentives include a fee waiver, a 50% tax credit for all clinical trials related to the drug's development, and support from the FDA's rare disease program while developing and testing their orphan drug. But there is one more big incentive. If the drug is approved for patients, the company is guaranteed seven years of market exclusivity. That means the FDA promises the drug will have no competition in treating that rare disease for seven years. And that lack of competition means drug makers are free to set prices as high as they want. Skyrocketing prices have created a firestorm over the years. And lawmakers, including the main author of the Orphan Drug Act, former California Congressman Henry Waxman, have tried to pass additional laws to rein in corporate profits. None of the laws have passed. One was vetoed by President George H.W. Bush after years of negotiations. Today, orphan drugs have created a virtual gold rush among pharmaceutical companies. About 450 orphan drugs have been approved, and orphans now account for almost half the new drugs approved by the FDA. Orphans command prices of up to $70,000 a month, which is $840,000 a year. And some experts worry that orphans are contributing to the rising cost of health care for millions of Americans. 